Is Gorn the most brutal game on the Quest platform? That's what we're checking out today. Let's do it. All right, the question of the day, is Gorn the most brutal VR game on the Quest platform? We're about to find out. Let's beat this guy for a second. See if we got any weapons around the arena. Ooh, there's a rock over there. Let's give that thing a shot really quick. Yes, you can use a rock to fight. Ooh, that guy's got some sort of flail going on around here. Go ahead and swing your flail there, buddy. Oh, oh his eye popped out. Oh, jeez, now his head's gone. <laughs> take that. Oh. Here, let me take this from you. Thank you. <laughs> Get away from me for a second, will you? Oh. There we go. Give me a second to think. Oh. All right. So, if that didn't answer your question yet, let's uh, get an edged weapon and see how that thing does. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hi there, buddy. Can I take your shield from you, please? Oh, here. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's disgusting because he's jawed his teeth. All right. This thing here, think about this game is you got to be careful with your guardian because it's been known to uh, break lamps and destroy walls. Oh, my goodness. And uh, you really don't want to do that <laughs> or break your quest controller. So, uh,. Everything's, this is definitely a tongue-in-cheek kind of game because you can see everything's kind of wobbly and funky. There we go. Sorry there, buddy. Oh, hold on. You just wait there for a second. Oh, jeez. Sorry, buddy. There. Now you can stay down. Oh, boy. I said stay down. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I can't even get over some of this game. Here, have some fun over there. Oh my word. Oh, that is just disturbing in so many ways. There. What are you doing, buddy? You got some nunchuck. Oh, there goes your mask. Whoa. Another guy over there. <laughs> Alright, I'll take that hammer from you, please. Hammer time! This is endless mode right here. Let's uh, jump out and I'll show you what else that this game has going on. Right, so this is the main lobby menu type of area. You've got this little uh, lever here that'll bring you to different levels. I'll show you that in just a second, but that was endless mode right there. That's pretty much just play around with whatever you want to play around with as long as you can go. Um, there's options in this game, though, that I think make this game uh, really a lot better, and that includes the movement options. See, originally, the default movement mode is to actually push down buttons and swing your arms, which actually made me incredibly motion sick. So, uh, using the smooth motion and smooth turning, which you can change here, makes a big difference. There's also low violence mode, which is still disturbing, and I wouldn't necessarily let kids play it, but it takes away the blood um, and adds candy instead. <laughs> and so it is a little weird, but you can still cut things off, <laughs> but instead of being bone, it's like candy cane or some sort of candy. This is how the game functions. You have custom mode in the bottom level, which I'll show you in just a second. What you do is you play through these different missions, I want to say, with different uh, people. So this is Achilles. I defeated him. This is uh, Berserker. I defeated him. I haven't defeated General yet. And then once you uh, defeat a couple on this level, you can actually go up into this area and you get Goliath, you get Blade Master, you get Badger Mancer, and then once you defeat some here, you go up to level three. One of my favorite things, though, is the custom mode. We'll go down to that because you can do a whole bunch of different custom options. You can change your player's size, which can be pretty disturbing. A huge, huge size is like this giant, giant beating down on people, and it's uh, 
It's pretty disturbing anyways. <laughs> um, you can change the damage scale, gravity, knock scale, all that kind of stuff. And then here, you have these different um, weapons or attachments or upgrades. And I've got only this one unlocked right now. This is like a scorpion get over here type of weapon. You can shoot at him and pull at you, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But let's go up, and we're going to check out one of these levels up here really quickly. Let's go to... Let's go to Badger Mancer and see what that has got going on. All right, here we are inside of a larger arena. This is, uh, I'm supposed to use that spear, but I don't like the spears, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do some beatdowns here really quickly. Get another weapon. There we go, at least that's a better weapon. There we go. Much better. <laughs> Alright, I want that thing right there. That'd be better than what I got. There we go. Oh, that was... Just disgusting. <laughs> now I got one of these things at least. He's got a flail over there. Oh, I got hit. There we go. That's not good. You regain your health by beating people. Are right, they buddy? Jeez. Oh, they stuck. Get off of me. Oh, he's got a sword over there. That's what I really like. I like the edged weapons better. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Gross. Alright, let me take your sword from you. Can I, please? Oh, I just took his hand right off. There we go, that's better. Alright, now I've got these, like, blade... <laughs> what do they call them? Frisbees? Of some kind? Let's see. Ooh, they work pretty well. Oh, I'd say they work pretty well. Can you throw them? Oops, you can. Doesn't work very well against armor. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at the bones sticking out of that hand right there. I'm sorry, buddy. Just like that. Alright, since he's got no armor on. Oops, that was... Come on, come back to me. Oh, it's like a... It's like a freaking... You know, it's like a friggin', uh, what do you call those things? Boomerang. There's the next guy. All right, here we go. Jeez, that just went flying. Did not work the way that I wanted it to. What do you got? Like, a, I haven't tried that yet. I can't imagine I'd do very good with it either, but let's try it. Whoa! All right, so I don't mind it. <laughs> Let's change hands, though. There we go. Yeah, that's not such a bad weapon after all. All right, now I feel like I'm in Assassin's Creed or something with a couple of tomahawks. Uh-oh, that guy's got a bow and arrow. Can I block arrows in this? Or will he just not hit me if I move sideways, maybe? Ooh, did I just block it? I can't tell. Sorry, buddy. Hey, get off of there. Hey, I got... Crud. I have to beat him with it, because... There we go. There we go. The hand was stuck. There. <laughs> Keep getting stuck on things. Sorry, buddy. You wouldn't leave me alone. All right, you got one of these things again. Can I kill with this edge? Yep. <laughs> oh, that was just disgusting. <laughs> Here we go, buddy. Here, sword, finally. I much prefer swords. Here, give me your sword. Thank you. There, much better. There we go. Swords are the way to go. All right, so here we are. This is custom mode, and I'm going to uh, be playing on a small scale here. Crap, I meant to grab a weapon. <laughs> well, let's get a, uh, a rock over here if we can. This guy's huge. Can I get it before he gets over to me? Stay away from me. I've got uh, scaling way down. <laughs> so uh, I'm tiny, tiny, tiny. Oh, whoa, look at that. 
I must have turned up the uh, the hit damage for how far it goes. Oh, jeez, look at that. <laughs> Knocked him into the pit. What's down in that? Oh, it's just a pit, okay. Ooh, look at that. There's a club over there. That's what I want. I'm going to do some baseball practice. Oh, crud! Come on. No, I wanted that. Oh, that's my microphone. <laughs> I just want a freaking weapon. Oh, down into the pit. All I got is my freaking hands to work with. There we go. No, you fell off into the pit. There, all right. Here, let's take his legs out from under him. There we go. Oh, his leg just went all sticky. Come on. Just freaking drop down already, will ya? Uh-oh. He didn't drop his freaking bat still. <laughs> I'm not gonna get a weapon. You're done. Ready? You're finished. Hardest punch ever. I'm gonna knock this guy straight up into the wall right there. Ready? Here we go. Get right in front of me here. Ready? Not even close. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, look. What do you think about Gorn on the Quest platform? It's launching on Thursday for those that want to pick it up for 20 US dollars for both Quest 1 and for Quest 2. There are no enhancements for the Quest 2 version according to the developer or at least a post that I saw on Reddit aside from the fact that it'll run at a more consistent higher frame rate. So that is a plus, but it's going to be exactly the same for Quest 1 and Quest 2. It's kind of hard because it takes kind of a gruesome sense of humor to like this game. Maybe I'm a gruesome person, but it is humor and I had fun playing it. Even though it's not my favorite game, it's definitely something to consider if you thought it looked entertaining. If you want to get the most out of your quest and your quest too, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications. Plus, you can check out even more of my videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and happy questing.